Hello, I'm Claire Mundyman. I am IC in charge of photography at North Lamington School. And this is a short presentation to give you a little bit of an idea about uh, what we do in photography for GCC and also kind of the things you perhaps get to learn and a little bit of what to expect from the course. So um, the course structure basically is broken down into a few different sections. In year nine, you're going to have a look at sort of the basic concepts of photography. Uh, obviously, at this point, you're going to be ex uh, experimenting with lots of different new techniques and media and hopefully developing some really strong core skills uh, through some very sort of short mini tasks that we do um, that go throughout the year. And then um, by the end of the year, we kind of extend those projects so they become a little bit longer. Um, at the start of year 10, you will then actually start your main uh, component one, uh, which is the main assess piece of coursework that you would do. Um, and then in year 11, you're going to then either sort of develop that in a little bit more um, of a defined way, or you will then do um, a little bit of an extra project. Um, the key things really that you're going to be covering during that time um, are kind of based around the assessment objectives in essence. Um, they're going to be color, um, covering the following. So, for example, developing your ideas, being informed by the work of others. So that's all your research, exploring varied media and techniques, um, recording uh, your recording skills. So that's actually taking your photographs and making sure that as you're taking those photographs, you're reviewing and refining what you're doing um, and then also presenting actual outcomes. Um, you will be expected to work consistently independently both inside the classroom but also outside the classroom as well this slide here it's a bit of a lots of information on here but this sort of will just basically tell you the type of skills in terms of the photographic skills that you will learn uh, but then also we, the wider skills as well so the skills that are really transferable to your other subjects while you are doing photography at GCSE. So just really quickly looking at some of those photographic skills, obviously you're going to learn how to use your digital cameras and uh, you're going to learn how to use the studio lighting. Um, there'll be some opportunities to uh, look at darkroom and uh, different wet processing techniques as we have a small darkroom at North Lem Lemington. We will definitely be doing a lot of digital work on the computers so you'll get to learn how to use Photoshop. Um, but also really importantly, you're going to be looking at the work of other photographers and learning how to analyse their work as well. Um, like I've said previously, being able to work independently is really, really important. Um, and you, you need to make sure that you're keeping to the deadlines. There's lots and lots of opportunities to come and use a studio during school time, but also after school time as well. And there's lots of support available for you. Um, also, if you're able to visit sort of galleries and museums in your own time, that is really, really helpful to sort of your wider learning within the course. And just thinking about those wider skills learned, they're listed there. We've got understanding the language of visual communication, teamwork and collaboration, really, really important uh, in photography, actually sort of building, you know, working with other people, working in a team. Uh, quite often when you work like that, you'll produce fantastic photographs. Uh, reflecting on your work uh, and the work of others and you're making sure that when you're looking at your work you are then kind of able to recognize um, how you can make improvements and then also sort of developing your literacy skills because there's lots and lots of annotation within the sketchbook that you will be developing so a um, bit more formal here but our example that we use for GCC uh, for photography is AQA um, it is a non-exam assessment subject, so an NEA subject. So both components are assessed internally by uh, art staff and then by the exam board moderators. And they actually come into school and they have a look at a selection of work to check the marking. So there's two components. Component one is your main body of work, which makes up your coursework. And this is 60% of your total marks. And then component two is an externally set task by the exam board. Uh, this makes up 40% of the total marks and at the end of this you're required to complete um, a 10 hour um, examination where you produce your final outcome for the for the sort of project that you're doing uh, at that time that has been set by the exam board. 
Uh, you'll be giving your centre assessed marks just after Christmas in year 11 for component one, and then in May for component two. These will then be externally moderated. So just a couple of pictures here. This uh, is a panoramic um, of the photography studio. You can just about see into the darkroom on the right hand side. Um, but yeah, it just gives you an idea of the space that is available to be used. Um, we've got obviously areas for the computers, um, kind of seating, working space. And then to the right, we've got um, kind of quite a large studio and obviously we can move all the tables um, further into the classroom. So there's lots and lots of space to work. And then we've got a camera at the top and then one of the enlargers as well. Um, these are some really nice examples of year nine work um, currently. So these are students obviously that have been working at home for the last couple of months. And just one of their mini projects um, was titled Take a Walk. So these are some of the outcomes that they have um, developed during that time where they've been working uh, from home. And just finally, I just would like, you know, a successful student in this subject, I think, would have definitely a strong interest in visual arts and a real passion for photography. You need to be inquisitive and you need to be really thoughtful in what you do and really think about why you're taking the photographs and what you want your audience to see and understand. You need to be IT literate because the majority of the work that we do will be uh, digital and based on the computers, um, especially the sketchbooks that you will be creating. Um, to be able to work well independently is a really key skill I think that you need. And then most importantly, I think if you can be a creative risk taker, then you're gonna create lots and lots of interesting photographs and do really well in this subject. If you've got any queries, come and see me in school uh, at any point and I can um, show, you, show you the facilities and have a chat with you and hopefully answer any other questions that you've got. Thank you very much.